Hello everybody, welcome to another video of practice with the cross product. So the first problem we're going to do is we're going to find a unit vector that is orthogonal to both vector u given by 1, negative 4, 1, and v given by with components 2, 3, 0. So pause the video and see if you can do this. And bonus points if you can find two unit vectors that do that are orthogonal to these. All right, so I'm assuming you had to go, had to go with the problem. So let's actually illustrate these vectors. All right, so vector u has an x component of one. So we go one along the x, and then four along the negative y. So one, two, three, four, and then one up above the z-axis. So let me actually mark this point out first. That's where it's above. And then we go up from travel up one unit from there to about here. All right, so now let me illustrate with a yellow, uh, with an orange vector, not yellow, the orange vector. All right, that's vector u. And then vector v is a little bit easier to draw. We go two along the x, three along the positive y, one, two, three, so probably somewhere over here, and we don't go anywhere in the y. So now we just lie in the x, y plane. So let me draw that vector like that. And this is vector v. All right, and of course, if we were to label the angle between them, that would be angle theta. All right. So how do we find a vector that is orthogonal to two vectors? Well, we could use the cross product. We would write that we would have to find the vector u crossed with vector v, but then we'd have to divide it by its magnitude to find a unit vector. So let's do this computation. Do this in white equals remember how we find the cross product i j k and then we do one negative four one I'm trying to save space because this is going to take a lot of computation one negative four one and then we come over here and we get two three zero now we would get the following. We would have to take the product. We cover up i first. 4 with 0 gives us a 0. Minus 3 times 1 is a 3. I'm not going to color code it right now because I'm assuming that we have this relatively straightforward. But if you need some reference, just watch the previous two videos yourself. Minus, now I'm covering up j, and I get 1 times 0 is a 0. Minus 2 times 1, which is a 2 times j hat plus, now I cover up k hat, and I get 3 minus a negative 8 multiplied by the unit vector k hat. And now I obtain as a cross product negative 3 i hat plus 2 j hat, because the negatives go away, negative the negative, right, plus 11 k hat. 11 k hat. All right, so this is a vector that is perpendicular to u and v. So if I was to actually draw this out, that would probably look something like, actually, if I was to plot it, let me plot it, actually. I won't, I, that, that, if I plot it, it should come out looking relatively perpendicular. I won't have to draw it. So I'm going to do this as dashed lines over here. And the only problem here is that we have to go 11 units upwards. So yeah, actually, probably would be best if I would just sketch it. So yeah, let me give it just a rough sketch. This would be the vector. I'll actually write it in pink. I haven't think I've used pink yet. That would be this vector. It would be much longer than that, but just for the sake of me writing it over here, this would be the vector found via u cross v and its magnitude would be 
the value, the magnitude of vector u cross v. This is this vector over here, right? So we're going to find a unit vector. We're going to normalize this vector over here. So we need to find its magnitude. We have to find the magnitude of u cross v hat. No, not hat, sorry. u cross with v. And I used orange in the beginning, so I'll use orange over here. All right. So this would be the square root of negative 3 squared is a 9 plus 4 plus 121. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus 121 gives you, uh, 13 gives you, sorry. <laughs> oh, what did I do? <laughs> 13 over here gives you 134. Square root of 134. So this would give us our magnitude, and we would have to divide this vector over here by this amount. So now I would get, as a final vector, we'll call this vector, I don't know, A. And that's going to be given by 1 over the square root of 134 times negative 3 times 2 times 11. And this would be a vector, a unit vector, that is that is orthogonal to the plane containing u and v. So it would have magnitude 1, and we'll call this a over here. Now, I also said to you, well, this, this is our answer, but I said bonus points if you could find another vector which is orthogonal to the plane containing u and v. And now that I've drawn it out, you can probably guess what it is. All I would have to do is just negate the vector a. It was kind of a bit of like a like a like a trick question. So we get negative a, and I would just stick a negative sign over here, and I get two vectors that are orthogonal to uh, vector u and vector v. So that's a pretty neat problem. And notice how notice how we can um, better visualize the problem if you throw it if you draw it in three dimensions. I recommend you try that out. So this was uh, basically it for this problem. I'll see you in the next video.